Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about differentiability and continuity. So, um, you know, we've done a couple of videos about differentiability, when a derivative exists, when it doesn't, uh, and we've talked a lot about continuity when we did uh, limits a while back. So now uh, let's talk about both of them. So are differentiability and continuity related? And uh, yeah, they are. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't make this video. Um, so yeah, they're related. But the question is, how are they related? So um, uh, a known fact is that if um, basically uh, differentiable, let's say it like this, differentiable implies, okay, this double arrow here, that means implies uh, continuous. Okay, so differentiable implies continuous. So in other words, um, if, let's leave some space here and we'll say if uh, f of x is differentiable, so I'm going to abbreviate differentiable like this because it's a long word and I'm very lazy. Uh, if f of x is differentiable at x equals c, then f of x is continuous uh, at x equals c. All right. So why is that true? Well, um, there's actually a proof of that in the next video. So if you want to see a proof of why this is true, go ahead and uh, check out the next video. But for now, in this video, let's just continue with this discussion here. Um, so if f of x is differentiable at a point x equals c, then f of x is continuous at x equals c. So uh, this automatically means that uh, if f of x is not continuous, at x equals c, then f of x uh, is not differentiable at x equals c. Okay. So uh, if you know a little bit about logic, uh, this statement here and this statement here, those are contrapositives. Um, and a statement and its contrapositive always have the same truth value. Uh, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But um, here, differentiable implies continuous, so that's what this says here. If f of x is differentiable at x equals c, then f of x is continuous at x equals c. And again, there's a proof in the next video. Um, but here, this automatically means, this automatically implies that if f of x is not continuous at x equals c, then f of x is not differentiable at x equals c. Okay, so in other words, um, not continuous uh, automatically implies not differentiable. Okay, so if you just think about it a little bit, um, if you're differentiable, then right away that tells you you're continuous. So if you're not continuous, then there's no way that you could be differentiable. Okay, so it might seem kind of weird, but if you think about it a little bit, it'll make sense. Um, and again, if you know a little bit about logic, it's just uh, contrapositives here. So, um, all right, differentiable implies continuous. Not continuous implies not differentiable. But what if you are continuous? So in other words, does continuous imply differentiable? Um, and we actually kind of already know the answer to that, but let's go ahead and summarize it here. Well, actually, before that, before we do that, let's see an example um, here, let's see an example of a function that's not continuous at a point. So before we move on to that, let's do this real quick. Uh, x-axis, y-axis. Let's just draw a function here. Okay, so here's going to be our function, uh, let's just say y equals, I don't know, g of x. Um, let's take out a little piece here. So we'll put a hole there and then uh, put that piece here. So let's say this is x equals 2, uh, whatever. So, um, okay, if we take a limit as x approaches 2 of g of x, the limit exists, right? But what would the derivative be? So remember, derivative is slope of the curve or it's slope of the tangent line. So think about putting a tangent line at x equals 2. Uh, you know, it would have to be tangent to this point up here, right? But what, you know, if you're just tangent to a single point, that's kind of weird. Uh, I, I wouldn't even know how to draw that. So, um, you know, tangent line here, 
this is just kind of a graphical uh, intuition of why the derivative wouldn't exist. So, you know, this limit exists, but the limit does not equal the function value. So uh, it's not continuous here, right? Uh, this function is not continuous at x equals 2. Therefore, the derivative does not exist there. And again, you can think about it in terms of tangent lines. What would the tangent line look like? It just it wouldn't make any sense at all. Um, so that's just an example of a function that's not continuous at the point x equals 2. And we see that it's also not differentiable there. Okay. So um, now let's go back to what we we're going to do up here. Um, what if a function is continuous? Does that automatically tell us that it's differentiable? Okay, so again, just to recap real quick, we know differentiable implies continuous, and not continuous implies not differentiable, but um, does continuous imply differentiable, or diffable for short? So does continuous imply differentiable? Um, and no, it actually doesn't. Okay, so we've seen quite a few, or we've seen a few examples of that um, when we talked about three ways a derivative doesn't exist. So remember we had a absolute value of x, x to the one-third and x to the two-thirds. Those functions were all continuous, but we saw the derivatives didn't exist at zero. So uh, the answer to this question is no. Uh, no. Continuous does not imply differentiable. So uh, we've just recently seen it, but let's take a look again. So here, um, let's draw the absolute value function. Okay, so this is y equals absolute value of x. All right, and here, uh, x-axis, y-axis. So we know um, the, the derivative here, the derivative at 0 does not exist. But this function is continuous at 0, right? Because um, if you take a limit as x goes to 0 from the left, and a limit as x goes to 0 from the right, uh, those both exist, and they're equal to each other, and they're equal to the function value at x equals 0. So this function is continuous, but the derivative there does not exist. Okay, so uh, no, continuous does not imply differentiable. But what's, uh, it's important to remember that, and it's also uh, at least as important to remember that differentiable implies continuous. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the next video, and we'll see a proof of this differentiable implies continuous.